Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Halloween is right around the corner, and this is going to be Eva's very first Halloween in America. You don't really have Halloween in Italy, do you? No, we don't have Halloween, but we have our own festa. It is uh, the 1st of November on Nisanti and the 2nd of November is the day of deaf people. So it's like All Saints Day and sort of like the Day of the Dead in Mexico. Yes. Well, I thought we would celebrate her first real American Halloween by uh, giving her some classic chills and thrills. Many of our wonderful viewers have sent us uh, links to videos that they think might uh, frighten Ava a little bit, and I've been secretly collecting those into a little collection, and the day has finally arrived to expose Ava to them. Without further ado, Ava, are you ready to plumb the depths of the internet and find some real horror. Ayuda, ayuda. Our first video today is called How to Cook the Perfect Pasta, something that Ava has always wanted to learn, and it comes to us courtesy of Mr. Gordon Ramsay himself. It can be easily undercooked or overcooked. Here's how to do it properly. First, water in, nice large I pan to make sure water, that's that's okay. sufficient room to cook evenly. Nicely seasoned, absolutely crucial. So Olive oil in. Maybe a little that bit stops more. The pasta Olive oil. It stops the pasta from sticking together and it gently rolls it around. Now, this is angel pasta, nice thin pasta. Takes three this is not bronze pasta. So into the pan, as it hits the water, it melts and then you turn it around. To test it, lift a little bit. It tastes because. You can actually feel it with your fingers. Does it taste, you know, if the pasta is cooked or not? Okay. Not a bite, okay. not a strong bite, but just really nice and firm inside. Definitely not crunchy. And then, into a colander, drain the pasta, a light seasoning, salt. He's putting salt on the pepper. pasta? Yeah. A table That's why you didn't need so much salt in the water. So Mix that through. Making a salad. You never no. salt the pasta after you, you cook no! it? No! Are you crazy? Cook perfectly. We don't do this. We never salt the pasta after it's cooked because the salt doesn't dissolve. So sometimes you have one spaghetti that maybe can be salty and the other spaghetti is not salty. That's why we put enough salt in the water. Come on, <laughs> Gordon. So if you were to rank this video one to five jack-o'-lanterns, one being the least scary, five being the most scary, what would you give it? I'm attempting to give uh, to Gordon five Jack Lantern because he has 16 star Michelin and he made one, two or three huge mistakes, the olive oil in the water. And then he put salt and he put black pepper, so just for this uh, he deserves five Jack Lanterns. You're giving the first video five Jack Lanterns. He's a chef, he's the most famous chef in the world and doesn't know how to cook pasta. Okay, you might need to adjust that as we move forward, but okay. Now worse than this, I can't think that. I can watch it. This is the maximum. Our next video is a recipe from the queen of Italian-American food, Lydia Bastianich. This is spaghetti with garlic and oil. What is the first dish? Spaghetti, garlic and oil. It's a simple, straightforward, it's delicious, and really packs a lot of flavor. So, some boiling water, throw the, the spaghetti mm -hmm. right in. Good olive oil, you know, there's very few ingredients here. Plenty of garlic. Just Plenty. <laughs> She put three kilos of garlic. A little pepperoncino right now. Oh, so there's pepperoncino. So with alio, the... olio e pepperoncino. Alio, olio e pepperoncino. The secret ingredient to this is not really a secret at all. It's the pasta waters. She's putting the pasta water in the frying oil. Uh, yep. So she's making a soup. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to add some pasta water in? And no, and if you add the pasta water in this kind of dish, you add the, uh, uh, the like the last thing. She's killing the parsley, to, 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 like if it's pork ribs. Gently, gently, it's just parsley. She's making a soup, she's making a minestrone. Never, 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 never put oil in the pasta cooking water. I mean, I, I've told you once, I'm going to tell you a thousand times. Never put oil! See? So she knows and Gordon doesn't. 
and actually I'm gonna just fish it. It's nice. Okay, she's doing the right things because when you do a dish like that, you don't need to drain completely the pasta because you need some pasta water to make it creamy. But she put just put it in the in the pan. But then she before she had some pasta water, so she is making a soup. When you are stuck, you can drink. I need to reheat a little bit this pasta. It, I don't have enough sauce. No, she doesn't. No, she can't put more pasta water. Pasta There's like. nothing this else is else a minestrone after. Else. She's not doing the garlic and oil. Lots of parsley, like I said. Lots of parsley, lots of garlic. A minestrone. It does look pretty soupy. I no, it's, it's, I told you, it's a minestrone. Al dente, what does that mean? It's, you know, to the tooth. Look the water. It's just enough. The pasta is flowing. It's not over soupy. It's not overdressed. No, it's not over soupy. No, look in the pan. How much water there is? No, it's not over soupy. Ah, Lydia. And reel it in. Whatever it's hanging, you just reel it in. That's the way to eat pasta. I can't say that she did. Uh, the worst things that so let's say that uh, always in between one and five mm -hmm. uh, no she deserved like um, two two, two jack-o-lanterns that's not bad no it's not bad no no and also because of her son so, ciao joe all right well that means i'm gonna have to find something to really scare you are instant pots very popular in italy so for, for any Italian friends or people who are not familiar, an Instant Pot is basically a heavily automated pressure cooker and they're very popular here as being a quick and convenient way to cook. And as it turns out, you can cook pasta in one. In Italy, we never cook pasta with pentola pressione. Well, then you might enjoy this. You might learn a quicker, more convenient way to make Instant Pot spaghetti with or without meat. Today, I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti in your Instant Pot. What I love about Instant Pot spaghetti is the process is almost completely nice. hands off. It's hands off! Spaghetti noodles. Hands Ooh. off! She breaks the spaghetti! So this dish is and she put the soap. This is a soup for the dog. We cook this like that for the dog. With or without meat. So today, I'm going to show you both methods. Mamma mia, look at this spaghetti, the they're first. horrible. Break the dry noodles into oh. thirds so that they will oh. easily fit into your instant pot. Add easily fit in your they instant pot. Fit. Yeah. Maybe if they don't fit, it's because they're not meant uh, to be there. On the stove. So it's essential that you help to prevent clumping as much as possible. Pour the water mm. over the noodles. Then pour the marinara sauce on top of that, covering as much of the noodles as you can. For extra flavor, I like to add a little bit of tomato paste on top. Everything you have in the fridge, put there. And then color. Is important since you can't stir the mixture as it cooks. Mama so make sure you follow these directions closely and don't attempt to stir the spaghetti noodles once you've added them into the pot. Use the manual or pressure cook button to cook on high pressure for four minutes. Only four minutes. It takes about 10 minutes for the Instant Pot to come to pressure, and it takes another 10 minutes when the cooking cycle is complete. Oh, so 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 20 minutes to make spaghetti to and pre-made tomato sauce. To destroy pasta. In 20 minutes, she can destroy pasta. This lets the pasta finish cooking, and it allows the foam that may have built up during the cooking cycle to settle, so nothing will happen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch, I can't watch this. I don't deserve this treatment from my husband, come on. It's safe to open the lid. Use tongs to stir the noodles and sauce together. That's so horrible. Then spaghetti warm with your favorite toppings. Mom, this is, it's overcooked, this destroyed air break, overcooked. If you need to cook gluten-free spaghetti, I recommend cooking it on its own in the Instant Pot using a shorter cooking cycle, then rinse it off to remove she the starch and the the sauce. I hope you'll enjoy this easy one-pot meal. <laughs> she is, she is washing the pasta. Come on. 
feeling hot here. <laughs> I'm sweating. So if Gordon Ramsay got five jack-o'-lanterns, what do you give this instant pot spaghetti recipe? I regret. I told you. I, I told you. You were right. I regret. So Gordon, also if he's the star Michelin like chef with Michelin star, and he made these huge mistakes. Okay, Gordon, I can forgive you. So from five, I can give a three to Gordon. No, she deserves five. Five. Okay. This is the most horrible video pasta that I have ever seen in my life. Well, in that case, are you ready to maybe move on to pizza? Oh, pizza. <laughs> this video seems interesting because it comes with a, an imperative. 10 delicious pizza recipes you have to try. Wait and see, maybe they do something good. No, this is enough, this is already enough for me. So they are making a giant hamburger. And then their mom, this is like, oh. pizza is a jewel, pizza is a treasure. It's like, in Napoli they create a diamond. And they are destroying all this. Look, put the sauce on, yes. See it? And then bacon. So meat inside, meat up, mo mozzarella. Yeah. Yeah. Go big or go home. So they make they made the pie. <laughs> pizza pie. A pizza pie. Yeah, pizza pie. Uh. Mamma mia. <laughs> this is that. Tortillas. Tortillas. Okay, they are not doing pizza. Sure they are. But just with tortillas instead of pizza dough. No, I'm sorry, it's not that you can do pizza with tortillas. Oh with look, tortillas. it's like a little calzone, a little fried calzone. This is not a fried calzone. No. This is tortilla fried. Mayonnaise, oregano, pepper, chili flakes, salt, sugar, what are they like garlic, buttermilk? What are they doing with this? Oh, it's just a dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Dip your fried pizza pocket in the dipping sauce. Mmm. Garlic? Garlic is a big thing. It's a VIP here in America, garlic. Well, what would Italian cuisine be without loads and loads of garlic? We don't use lots and lots of garlic. Really? We use I don't remember right. you ever telling me that. We use the right amount. But they are keeping using the tortilla, so they are not doing pizza. Yeah, why make pizza dough when you can just open a packet of tortillas? You Italians have a few things you could learn from us. Uh, how to make pizza with tortillas, be sure. She's making a meatball. Look, a meatball. A meatball. Oh, not a meatball. Okay, for example, my mama, she makes meatball fried like that. Flattened? Yes, oh. uh, not with this recipe. See, I told you this is gonna be an authentic pizza video. I told you this is gonna be an authentic pizza video. Jesus, mama mia. So look at the dough. It's, it's like a dumpling. Garlic, butter. So she made a Danubio, what we call Danubio. Danubio? Yes. So that's a real thing? No, not this recipe. <laughs> he looks like, but not this recipe. They are seasoning, they make the potatoes. Wow, these potatoes are okay. Maybe the pepperoni. I can avoid them. The but potatoes but... alone look good though. See, they're wonderful. As a recipe by itself is not so bad. Okay, maybe not with this ingredient, but as a recipe by itself, by itself is not so bad. How many jack-o'-lanterns does this video get? The problem that I have with this video is that they are they didn't present all pizza. Pizza is pizza because it's made by dough and then the ingredients in the oven, so pizza is pizza.
So it's maybe they made a mistake with the name. They have to change the title of this video, but by themselves, the recipe, they were not also horrifying. So let's say that uh, two or not two. Two? Yes, because the only big I'm striking out here. I thought this was going to absolutely horrify no, you. No, some of them, I cannot think that like the tortilla stuffed with something can be good. It's called it's, the taco. <laughs> it's called taco, it's not called the pizza. So, two. They may just, they misunderstood the concept of the pizza, but we can forgive. It's an Italian word, maybe don't know the translation. Uh, I thought we'd finish things off with a little bit of dessert. Several of our viewers have sent us this, and it has my favorite title of the day. It is called Sweet Filipino Spaghetti. Do not watch if you are Italian. So I can go away? Nope, you gotta stay right here. I can right go away, here. I have an Italian passport, I can go away. <laughs> And one of my favorite recipes growing up in the Philippines <laughs> was making a Filipino-style sweet spaghetti. It's so delicious, it breaks all the rules when it comes to Italian recipes. But he's telling that he's going to break all the rules. Yes, he's being quite upfront with what so he's about to do to you. So it's like, he's, an, he's honest. Yeah. At the end, he's honest. Sweet spaghetti is something that's really easy to put together and it uses these beautiful red hot dogs. Why are they red? I can't tell you. We don't know what's it's in red, it. Yeah. We don't want to know what's in it. Simple as that. Very and he doesn't know what's in Perfect in that What's in it? Oh, this a dog? To be fair, I don't think anyone knows what's in any hot dog. I'm gonna start off by cooking my pasta. Super simple, boiling water over there. I got some salt in there. Twist it like a gooseneck and drop it and you got a perfect little salt. Mm, he's spider. using a very good pasta. Once bronze cut. Out, bronze cut, guys. Minutes more or less. Some oil. Get it nice and red. We're actually gonna oil. add so much with the oil. You didn't well. say olive in oil. Oil. oil in general. <laughs> for now, we're gonna go ahead and sweat off our garlic and our onions. Three. Everything should Kilos be. Kilos of onion, onion really garlic. Good. While that's sweating off, we're gonna go ahead and chop up our mm. hot dogs. One and massive this? pound of ground pork. So as that renders so he's doing a bolognese, he's trying to do a bolognese. Sort of, seems like it. But at some point, my understanding is this is supposed to become sweet. Fatty, just how we want it to be. Toss in my diced carrots with my secret ingredient number one. To this, we're gonna add in our tomato paste. This is really important. Oh, but he's also adding tomato paste. So the base is the idea of a, the idea of a bolognese sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Made uh, in the worst way of ever, but a bolognese sauce. Everything's thick, evaporated milk goes in, that's where that sweet. Oh. What is putting there? Evaporated milk. Sweetened condensed milk. Latte condensato. Yeah. Ma. That's where the sweet is. Ma. Tastes exactly like what I remember it to be. In the water, because you need the starch, but here you have so much sauce. Oh, come on, guys. It, eating is a pleasure. This is not a pleasure. And that should thicken up nicely at this oh, point. I don't really this. need any it's, fire. It's disgusting just to watch it, to see it. Oh, come on, Alper. If someone put this pot in front of you, you eat. Uh, I would try that. Totally. Just for the experience. He is like a garbage. It's like, he has no product. You well, should be scary. I've it's never scary. had a sweet pasta before, and apparently there are no sweet pastas in Italy. I think it would be worth trying one at some point. We actually do have a sweet pasta in Italy. And Alper also is typical for uh, our whole sense day. You have a sweet pasta, and it's like the equivalent of your Halloween pasta. See? Okay. I want you to show me this, but first, we're gonna have to dress up. It's Halloween, you have to wear a costume. So my costume is... You can be a character from a movie or a cartoon, uh, but typically you dress up as the scariest thing you can imagine. So the scariest thing you can imagine is pineapple pizza, huh? <laughs> See, I can't imagine something more scary than this, pineapple on pizza. I'm sorry. You. I'm Julius Caesar. I know who you are, but what's scary about Julius Caesar? Uh, ask the Gauls that.
This is maybe the most bizarre dish I think we've ever sat down to, but I'm eager to try it. What is this called? This is a sweet pasta. It's what we call a pasta dolce, and it's typical from uh, Umbria. And uh, they do this uh, for this period of the year, also for Christmas. Uh, and it's a very Haitian dessert. Okay. Sweet pasta. Who knew? <laughs> bon, bon appetito. appetito. No. Tell me. Tell me. It is not what I was expecting. It's good, though. It's not super sweet, either. No, it's not super it's sweet. It's very chocolatey. No? I mean, there's no sugar in it. It's just a little bit of honey. It's very good. A big thank you to all of our fans who sent us the videos we watched today. I'm sorry we couldn't get to all of them, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That lets us know, and maybe we'll do this again sometime. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Pasta Grammar. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy All Saints Day, and we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.